Terabyte daily vlogs. What are you gonna do, Beebs? I'm gonna attempt to make pudding with half and half. So my sister is doing, well she wants to do a video for her channel where she's do, does like a time lapse of her doing like makeup and, or not makeup. Makeup? Uh, art, actually like paint, doing a painting or something. So my parents let her borrow the 60D for that, but the problem is the 60D, pretty much anything with a Digic 4 processor, like, I hurt my ears. Sorry. Pretty much anything with a Digic 4 processor back when those cameras were made by Canon, those cameras don't have the ability to keep recording like our 5D where like it records and then it creates a new file and it keeps going. Like they stopped after like 10 minutes or so, which was ridiculous because back when we used the 7D for everything, everything we shot, like we had to be really paranoid about the camera turning out because it doesn't warn you when it stops recording. It just stops recording and doesn't make any noises and you have no idea until like you hear the shutter turn off, like it, it, the camera's turning off. So that's kind of annoying. Um, what? I'm about, to start. I'm about to start. So anyways, I told Callie that and she was like, okay, what should I do? And I was like, well, there is this firmware called Magic Lantern, which I'm sure a lot of you who have DSLRs know about it. It's a third party firmware you put on your camera and on the card and it gives you all these extra features. Well, there's an extra feature called like the intervalometer or something like that. It's a weird word I can't explain, I can't pronounce. And uh, it allows you to do like take a picture every however many seconds and it keeps going. Um, so I'm gonna test that out right now and do a little time lapse of Sabrina. How, how often should I take a picture do you think? Every 10 seconds maybe? 5 seconds? You're probably gonna miss me. It's not gonna take that long for me to pour stuff into a bowl. Well don't start yet. So I'm gonna do a time lapse of her real quick. Alright so as you guys can see I got this shot going here and um, it's prepared to shoot all raw images like large so I could probably upload this in 4k file like separately on YouTube and get like really nice resolution and everything's fixed the aperture the shutter speed and the ISO are all fixed so there won't be any like flickering like changing of things and to set it what I do is I press the oh, let me focus 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 all right what I do is I press the trash button and then I go to the intervalometer and I click on it and I press Q to go to the extra options and I could set it to take a picture every, let's say, five, how many seconds? What do you think? Three? Mm -hmm. I'll do four seconds. No, I'll do three. Um, and then when I'm ready, I, I press Q to get out of here. When I'm ready, I just press this trash button again and now it's going to start up, start taking pictures. And I already have it focused. I have it focused on the pot. Um, but it's a pretty high aperture, the aperture, uh, can't really see the aperture right now, but it's going to keep taking pictures and uh, then we're going to put them all in a project at like 24 frames per second or something and it'll look like a video, but it'll, like a sped up video. But I also have, since it's shooting all raw images, not only have, do I have all that resolution because it's a cam like pictures on a camera, but I also have the raw factor. I could uh, like restore highlights and shadows and stuff. I'm thinking about bringing them all into um, Lightroom and messing with the images that way and see if I can get like a really cool look out of it. I don't know, we'll see how it turns out. So we started out with that shot that I showed you and then I slowly like moved the camera like each time I took a picture and we ended up at this shot because I wanted to get a shot in there at the uh, yogurt or whatever the pudding. pudding that she's making. I think Sabrina craves pudding because today Mark was like, who wants pudding? There's a mosquito. Uh oh. Chrissy? It's gonna bite my leg. It's gonna bite Chrissy. So far we're at uh, 418 pictures, which is roughly 16 seconds. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Because every 100 pictures should be about 4 seconds if we're doing 24 frames per second. I mean, obviously it's gonna be more than that, but I'm rounding up to 25, so it's gonna be about 16 seconds. Sabrina, it's our first time making yogurt. Pudding! Pudding. Why do you keep saying yogurt? Like I can't tell if I'm in focus or not. Like as I was moving the camera, I was like changing the focus. Oh, I almost fell. But I can't really tell if it's in focus. I'm it's sorry if it's out of focus, guys. I'm trying my best. I wanted dessert so bad, and I didn't know what I could make with what we have here. Yeah. I thought of pudding. <laughs> I can't believe it still has full battery. Jeez, I've been in the cooking mood today, haven't I? Oh. <laughs> I made freaking pudding! I don't know how I did this. I she just... didn't refrigerate it, but it's awesome. It's huh? warm. I like it warm. Um, yeah. 
I didn't have granulated white sugar, so I used brown sugar and it worked. And I didn't have vanilla extract, so I did it without. And I think this is better than anything else. And I used um, chocolates that I melted instead of cocoa powder because we didn't have cocoa powder, but we had dark chocolate that's like pretty bitter. So, and I used half and half instead of milk because, but it's fat free, but because we didn't have milk. And it ended up turning brown out. Brown sugar is better, anyways. It ended up healthier. turning out awesome, dude. Mmm. I wanted dessert and. Are you gonna eat all that? Mm. No, I'm probably put in the fridge or something. I wanted dessert, but like there was nothing here to have for dessert. I wonder if what it would taste like without the chocolate. Dude, don't make it fall on my white pants. So I dropped all the pictures into Lightroom, which there were 550 photos. So that's uh, five times uh, four, 20, 22 seconds, I think, something like that. Should be about 22 seconds when we're done. Um, I put them all in a light room and I edited one of them and I applied those settings to all the pictures so they're all the same settings. And then I went ahead and I'm exporting right now. It's taking a long time. These are huge images. I want to see if I can get a really cool like 4K video, 4K time lapse video. If I can, I might want to experiment with this some more and do some like time lapses. It's kind of fun. Really interesting. There's going to be some funny parts in it. So, uh, uh, I don't know. It'll be fun. Sabrina's watching a stupid show. Beaver. All right, so I did it. I brought it all into Vegas, and it seemed to work. Um, I exported a 4K version, but Sabrina thinks that we should just put it in the vlog. So I guess it'll be in this vlog right after this clip. I guess if you want to see the 4K version, tell us and talk Sabrina and let me upload it. But it's kind of weird. I don't know if it's really because it's not like a really great shot, so I don't, it might but not it be worth look it. Very special. Like, it didn't even look like 4K to me. Like, there was nothing that was like, whoa, so yeah. clear. I, I don't know if it was, like, totally focused or something. Yeah, it's a little bit out of focus kind of the whole time. And uh, the ISO was really high, so it's kind of grainy. But it's kind of interesting. So uh, I'm ki I kind of wish I set the the amount of pictures it took a little bit faster. Because it definitely jumps around really quick. Um, and you can't really tell what's going on. But hope you enjoy it. Here comes the uh, chocolate yogurt, chocolate pudding, the chocolate pudding time lapse. Enjoy. So today I woke up feeling super like down, that's why I kind of probably look really crappy right now. But I feel a lot better now, and uh, DJ just did the entire drums to our next cover. And uh, so we're, we're going to be getting that done and uploaded by Monday, and that's good news, right? And then, um, I don't know, I'm a, I'm a bit spacey today. I, I've been addicted to the most terrible show called uh, Secret Life American Teenager for like a couple of years. I've watched it on and off like on Netflix. I mean, I haven't really, I mean, even not a couple of years, like a year. I, I like, I'll watch like a few episodes every once in a while when there's nothing else to watch. And it's just like this, ch the cheesiest show, but for some reason I like watching it. And I only have two episodes until it's over. And now I'm like, wow, there's five seasons of that crappy show. <laughs> it's, it, it's a good show, I think, for teenagers, though, because there's a lot of, like, life lesson stuff in there. It makes you think, so... I, I can see why it has five seasons, I guess. But, I mean, me watching it? I don't know why I'm watching it. <laughs> favorite in life. If you don't, you might not be a troll, but you're not very nice. 